is up YouTube? Today I wanted to show you what I feel to be the best home replacement app out there. I know I searched for months trying to find, I didn't like know life it of course, but just whenever I had free time, always trying to find the perfect home launcher that gives overall good speed, but I also wanted it to look nice and feel nice. And this one just makes that perfect. It's a um, port of the uh, Sony Ericsson, uh, Sony Xperia Arc rather. Uh, on X from XDA, it's great guys over at XDA. Uh, they've ported it to all devices of pretty much every resolution out there, and it works beautifully. Uh, you get five home screens, and this does give a little bit of lag every now and then. It uses a lot more RAM, but it's, in my opinion, well worth it, and is very nice. Uh, so first, you get five home screens. You can't add. It doesn't have uh, one thing that I didn't like was that. You didn't have the pinch to zoom to so show a preview of all the screens. That's replaced by a really great feature that I'll show you in just a second. Uh, let's go into the app drawer. You can organize it by custom sorting, alphabetical order, most used, and recently installed. Right there. I'm just going to put it in alphabetical. And it's got all these nice transitions. This is why I love this. It's the transitions and just the overall effects that it comes with. Scroll to... Uh, yeah as many app drawers as you need you scroll in between them and you can you can sort as uh however you want i mean i usually use alphabetical and it's just uh panning left to right and right to left and you have little dots at the top demonstrating where you are so let's go back home and you have a dock down here all of these icons are interchangeable uh except the middle one of course which is the app drawer you can put any for any of these of course I have phone because it's mostly used in messaging and just do whatever apps you feel are important uh, you can add any apps to the home screen so just take calendar you just hold it and you get these nice effects with it you get that bounce effect if you can see and when you place it down it bounces into place and it's just really nice so watch, let's see if you can see and it just kinda bounces you have full support for widgets, and this is my one of my favorite things of launcher overall. Let's put calendar. Well, I'll demonstrate with this widget right here. So I have it in my hand. I'm gonna go to the trash can, and just if you watch the trash can, it spins into the trash can. It just looks so great. You can tell they put time into this, and they put effort into this. That although it is a little uh, bad at times, it can be a little bit laggy. Uh, and that's fade in effect. It's just they put time into it and effort to make it look nice. And you can drag widgets to various screens and just show you screen. And the reason I have all of these randomly placed widgets, stupid battery, is to demonstrate my uh, the pinch to zoom on this launcher. I pinch to zoom, and it's going to give me a an uh, overall look at every single widget I have placed on all my home screens. So I can just get quick access to all of them, and I can just pinch back in to get back to my home screen. So I'm gonna pinch out again, and say I wanted to go to the clock, the dual clock. I'm just gonna hit that, and it's gonna bring me right to that home screen. So now I'm at dual clock. I'm pinch back in, pinch back out. This is a dual clock. I'm gonna pinch back out, and I want to get all the way to my power widget. Just hit that, and it's gonna bring me right there. It saves you a lot of time from having to scroll in between all these screens, getting from here to power widget on the fifth home screen. So let me just add another widget just so you can see the effects. I'm going to do 4 by one on Android Assistant. And it just fades in nicely. Pinch to zoom. And now it's right there. It's going to resize the image so everything is going to fit OK. And this is where it does get a little bit lag. If you have a ton of widgets, it's going to uh, give a little bit of lag on that pinch to zoom. As you can see, it gets a little bit slow right there. But overall, it's very nice. Uh, great trash can effect where it spins. You guys, that's just my favorite thing of this launcher. It's so great. Uh, and let's see, you hit uh, menu. You got add wallpaper or settings. This does support live wallpapers. And since this uses a lot more RAM and a lot more processing power, live wallpapers are not going to work the greatest on here. Uh, I noticed Blue Sea gave me quite a bit of lag whenever I applied it. So I'm gonna set the wallpaper and. It does give a little bit of lag. It might not be so easy to see in the camera, but it gets a little bit 
uh, sluggish, I guess you could say. It's not, it still gets its overall snappy feel, but it does get a little bit sluggish. I noticed the, some work better than others. Let me go to Nexus. The Nexus wallpaper is, it works fine. It doesn't lag either. I guess it's because it's such a simple one, but you can do that. It's still, everything's fully functional. I'm going to get wallpapers, wallpaper gallery, and that looks cool, set wallpaper. And it's just very smooth. Let's go back into the app drawer, and recently installed, I'm going to show you that it's just the nice effects that this comes with. Uh, it's very feature packed too. It's just everything works so smoothly, so perfectly. Uh, it does have folder support, so you can create a new folder. And I really like this one because you can name the folder while you're making it. On a lot of other launchers, you can uh, make the folder, but you have to go in and rename it right there. So let's just make this one. You oh, let's see if I can type through the camera. I'm sorry, you. Tube and it got a couple of different icons right there. Uh, messaging looks like gaming, videos, music, starred, loved, don't know what that one is. Bar graph and contacts. Let's make it games done and it gets that fade effect again. I'm gonna take Unblock Me, which is a great game by the way, you should try it out and get back to that home screen. Dang it. Alright. I'll just remake it. It's not worth much. Okay, unblock me right there. Put it into the folder, and it's there. I don't know why I made that YouTube, but it's there. And then hit it, and it opens up. So uh, that's why I feel this is just a great launcher. And its overall smoothness, its overall speed, it's uh, the effects that really got me. It's just amazing uh, how how well done this is. So this is over at XDA. Uh, the users sideload it. I'll give you a link in the description which is down there and you can try it out for yourself. Uh, you do need a higher end device since it uses a little bit more power but if you want to try it on your low end device they have it for all resolutions pretty much. Thanks for watching and remember to rate, comment, and subscribe.